today we are turning my shoebox room. It literally is the tiniest room. I've spent all day clearing it because this is the only surface that I have to be able to put my new decks on. So we are making my shoebox room into a state-of-the-art mixing room. Um, I've only had seven DJ lessons <laughs> and the DJ company that I'm learning with kindly lent me um, a little controller to use. So I don't actually have any decks of my own but I was like, you know what? I've been using the 3000s in my lessons and I thought, fuck it. I may as well go for the best because I want to do this properly. Like I want to give this a real go and I want to give myself like the best possible chance at taking a, a real stab of it really, um, giving it a proper go. So I've gone ahead and bought two CDJ 3000s, which were very hard to get hold of. And this is the DJM 900 Nexus 2 mixer, which is even harder to get hold of. So I bought this off, I bought this second hand off of my DJ teacher because as my other DJ teacher says, they're as rare as hen's teeth. So it's quite uh, a miracle that I've got all these things sat in my bedroom. Um, and here you can't really see. I have two Yamaha HS7 studio monitors. And then I've got some other cables and things arriving today and tomorrow. So I'll be fully set up tomorrow. I think, and then we can give it a go. So I'll show you that then. But, um, let's unbox them. What should we start with? This is actually the mixer that I have been. I'm gonna actually. Mm, this is the mixer that I've actually been learning to DJ on. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's quite heavy. Okay, we've got it. This is what it looks like. Big boy. Got all the knobs. I'm just gonna pop him here. Oh god, why is that why is that so heavy? It, this IKEA hover stand is actually gonna be perfect for it, you know? It's gonna be perfect. So there's the mixer, let's let's open up the deck, so much excited. I've literally been waiting all day to do this because I was like, I am not going to do it until the side is cleared. So it's like a reward to get it all cleared and clean and tidy so I can then open it up. I've got to keep these boxes. These CDJs really hold to their value. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. Struggling here a bit. Go left handed. There we go. Box inside of the box. Da da da! I mean, a few months ago, I was just going to raves enjoying myself. Little did I know that I would be purchasing all this equipment and even learning to DJ like I said for a while like I wanted to learn to DJ but you know when it's like one of those things where you think oh I would like to yeah someday one day whatever and then one day I just made it happen I just went oh god let's book some lessons and go for it then but this is a bit tricky to get out of the box like the box is the same size as the other box. Come out, come out. There we go. There we go. So here's another box. Hello. That's the deck. 
And do you know what I'm probably going to have to do quite soon is buy another one so I can do three deck mixing. But let's get the two deck mixing on lock first. Boxes on boxes, isn't it? Quite exciting though, isn't it? It's like Christmas. It's the biggest Christmas present I've ever had to myself. Oh, uh oh. Put the cover in. I hope that's not an issue. Oh, I should have put that in the box. Take a look at that. Look at that nice big, nice big monitor. <laughs> I can't, I can't quite believe I've got all this stuff, you know. <sighs> big thank you to all my subscribers for supporting me and, and, and making this happen, you know. I wouldn't be in this position without you. So, thank you very much. Squeakity squeak. This one. Uh, the box. Handle it with care. Manipula a Beck Swan. Don't think that is the right pronunciation. I wonder why it's in French as well. Do you think France are the second biggest buyer of Pioneer equipment, perhaps? I don't think it's made in France. Or is that even French? I mean, Abec is French, isn't it? It's the thing my dad said, it said Norway on the box. But actually, these were made in Malaysia, I believe. Mm. We've manifested these decks into reality. Let's manifest me being a sick DJ, performing at sick festivals. There's my invoice. 4,338 for decks. That's just the two. It is a lot. <laughs> Don't like the noise. It is a lot of money. Um, but it's the best, so I just feel like I just wanted to get the best because then I can progress faster. Like I feel like if I'm just practicing on the controller, it's not the same and it's it's holding me back. Whereas with these, I can actually like really push myself with it. But it's so tricky to get out of the box. Oh yeah, let's manifest me playing at some festivals or just anywhere really it'd just be nice to actually get to the level where I can perform because to be honest with you it sounds a bit cringy but I never really thought it would be a possible career option but I have always loved Florence and the Machine right and like my dream job would be to be Florence and the Machine like singing and performing on the stage and dancing around I feel like she is like my spirit animal but I never thought that like doing music would ever be an option for me. I've always been musical, like I've always loved music but I've never actually like properly pursued anything apart from recorder at school. There was a time where I wanted to really learn piano when I was a child but I had a severe anxiety and this one says beyond the music. Slightly different packaging. I had a lot of anxiety as a child and I didn't want to like, my parents never pushed me into doing things that I didn't want to do, like they were never pushy parents. Um, so I never really did anything, I never thought that like, I don't know, having music is like a, I never thought it would be a career option to be honest with you. I'm not saying that it will be now, but I mean it could be, couldn't it? Anything's possible when you put your mind to it. But yeah, it it is I can like have the opportunity, I can create the opportunity for myself to be able to perform like Florence and the Machine. I won't be singing, but I could be dancing 
and playing. So, I don't know. I'm feeling very optimistic about the future at the moment because I feel like I've been in a bit of a rut. Like I've been doing the same sort of things for like two and a half years now and whilst I like my job and whilst like it's provided me with like such an insane level of freedom and so many opportunities like I literally wouldn't be able to afford to have the lessons, buy the equipment, take the time out to learn a new skill, like this would never be possible without it. But it's like, I'm at the point now where I want to start doing things for myself, not just for earning money. Like I'm not really that fussed about this earning me money, I want to actually just have an opportunity to be creative again and create. So I don't know if some of you know, but my degree is in fashion photography and by nature I'm a creative person. And for the past like two and a half years, I have really like shut that s side of myself off and I'm ready to open it up again and get creative with it. Um, so this is, this is exciting for me. Like I feel like it's given me a bit of a new lease of life. Like I've got something, like I've got a new focus. Like it, it does feel like new beginnings and it's, it's exciting. So yeah. Oh my god. Looking forward to bringing you guys on this journey with me because without you, like, I, I wouldn't have this platform, I wouldn't have the facilities to be doing any of this and hopefully very soon, the paintings fall up again, I will be able to afford to actually move out of my childhood bedroom which is what I am still currently in. And I don't really know how I've made my career work up until this point. And I don't really know how I'm going to make this whole DJ setup work in at home here. But we're going to give it a go and we're going to make the most out of it. Here's the second one. And this is my child. I've got, I've got two daughters. DJM and 3000. Um, yeah, we're gonna give it a go, and... Oh, make the most of it, um, utilise the space that I have and work with what I've got, and then hopefully in a few months' time, we can be doing another video where we'll be setting up my home studio, and it won't be in the same room that I sleep and do everything else in, it will be a separate room in its own right. So, God, there's the boxes. So, oh. Whoa, it, this uh, hover is actually the perfect size. The deck is literally going to take up this whole thing because I've got the speakers to put on here as well. I haven't even unboxed the speakers yet, guys. I can't actually fully set this up until tomorrow because I don't have all the leads. I have to put it into a switch or something. Look at this though. <laughs> Ready? Much of me. Beyond the music, I like that. I like that a lot. Music for me is like, it's freedom. It's like a space to escape reality. I think a lot of people use music in that way. That when we think about festivals, it's like the ultimate escapist dream really, isn't it? And I want to be part of that. <laughs> Not just in the crowd, but creating those experiences that people in the crowd are going to remember and enjoy, of course, because the most important thing in life is enjoyment, I think. What is life if you can't enjoy it? Like, what is the point? It's meant to be mundane, but... Got another cable. Alright, let's get... 
Ooh, fuck me. Let's get this sticker out. I got, um, is that blurry? Very low aperture, wide aperture even. Um, I got these limited edition grey. Now, I'm not really a grey fan, I'm more of a black fan, but they were so much cheaper than the black ones. I thought, fuck it, limited edition grey it is. Goodness, there really isn't going to be any room for anything else. <coughs> oh, but again, I didn't have to get these huge speakers, but I thought I would actually, oh, I would actually like to, once I've got the DJing on lock, I would actually like to produce drum bass. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I want to do drum and bass, if anyone didn't know already that I love drum and bass. I would like to produce it, so apparently, have I got the speakers the right way? Or if I put them upside down? Uh, apparently you can like produce with these speakers as well, so I thought, well, let's just get ourselves set up. And then once I've got all the gear, that's it, you know, I don't have to do any more. I'm going to unbox the other one and I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to show you it. It's set up! Well, it's not. They're unboxed, but I need to do all the cables, but I don't have everything yet. So that's probably going to have to be a tomorrow job. But, ta-da! So in total, I think I spent about six thousand three hundred on this. This was two thousand and sixteen. These were four thousand three hundred for the pair. These speakers were three hundred. Then I spent another fifty pounds or so on cables, and then I need to actually buy some headphones. That'll be like another hundred fifty to hundred seventy. So I think it is about six thousand eight in total so that's what this setup is, is going to cost um, but there we go call me mad I've had seven DJ lessons and I've spent nearly seven grand on DJ equipment but I want to give myself the best possible chance at becoming good and just giving this a proper go like I want to do this seriously so yeah bring it on my DJ setup is now all set up, apart from I don't have uh, any headphones. I did order some headphones, but they sent me the wrong colour, so that's caused me a bit of a meltdown. I have to wait in tomorrow for a courier to come so it can be swapped over, hopefully, to the right colour. But I'll show you my setup. So, this is what it looks like. Da da da. My DJ teacher lent me the headphones kindly whilst I don't have any. But hopefully it will be sorted out this week, but yeah. This is the setup. Pretty excessive for my bedroom, but I'm happy with it. I've been going on every day. And there you have it.
you would like to check out what I'm doing on these bad boys, then one, follow me on Instagram, which is Road UK, and also TikTok Road UK. Um, and perhaps I'll post a bit on here as well. But yeah, that's my setup. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Bye.